Hello everybody and welcome to this video of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. In this video I will be showing you uh, the Embark. So we're going to start playing the game. Right now the computer is loading the game. So you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidden wilderness, beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended your party of seven. Yeah, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all all the doors. Um, there are almost no supplies left but with start labor comes sustenance. Uh, whether by bolt, plow or hook provide for your dwarves you are expecting a supply caravan just before winter and tombs you. So this is good news, we will be getting a supply curve before the winter and now it is spring. So we have enough time to secure lodgings and to start uh, providing for our dwarves. So let's do it, strike the earth. Okay, so the first thing I do is I press spacebar to pause the game. The first button that I will teach you is the tab key. Pressing tab will remove the menu. This will allow give you more space to view the map. You can navigate by pressing the um, the keys on your numpad. You can move up by pressing this button and by pressing uh, that button. You can see here on the lower left of the screen which buttons I'm pushing. If you press tap again you can see your map. If you press tap a few more times then you will see all the key binds. This is going to be very important if you don't remember what key you have to use. You can always find it in here. These are the dwarves. You can view your dwarfs by pressing V. If you select one of, if you uh, go to one of your dwarfs with the cursor, and you press P and then L, then you can see the different labels of your dwarfs. You can also press U to see your unit list. You can see that my miner is picking up the equipment, which means that he's going to pick up his mining pick. My woodworker doesn't have an axe, so he's not doing anything. My other dwarves are also not doing anything. So this is my uh, armor and weaponsmith, my cook, my... Uh, or one is the cook, the other one is the brewer. And then there is the expedition leader, the mason, the carpenter and the miner. So you can see that uh, there is a cart here. Uh, Let's see how I can see it. So the wagon. This wagon is the one you start with. It's loaded full of goods. The first thing that I will do is I will press Q to query a building and then I will press X to remove the building. So now the building is slated for removal and it needs carpentry. Now if you go to the unit list, you go to the woodworker, press C then I press P and L and I can see all the labels. So you can see that carpentry is enabled. If you don't have a dwarf with carpentry, then the wagon will not be removed. So it's important that you make sure that at least one of your dwarfs has a carpentry skill. If you press K, then you can uh, move around and see what the different items are under your cursor. So you can see that these are trees that we're going to cut for wood. Since this is a cold uh, area, there are not many plants because it's winter. So I'm going to designate some trees to be cut. But first I will determine what location I want to use to start my fortress. As you can see, there are some lakes here, but right now you cannot see them because they are frozen. 
but they are actually links. You can see it if you go one level lower, then you can see that there are in fact some bodies of water in this area. If you remember uh, earlier, I said in one of my previous videos that I'm not going to go to the northwestern part of the map simply because um, it doesn't have any shallow uh, metals. So I'm gonna move around. I think I'll start, well, maybe somewhere somewhere around here. I think I'll, uh, I'll start here. I'll dig into this mountain at this location to start my fortress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press D and then D again for mining and then I'm going to start um, designating some areas by pressing enter to start an a, a rectangle and enter again to end the rectangle. A very useful tip is if you hold the left shift and you press the arrow buttons you will move in a larger motion. If you don't press shift you move only one uh, square at a time but if you hold shift you can move around a little bit faster. This is very useful. The game is still paused. In order to unpause the game I'll have to press space again. But before I do that I will go back to um, the starter area by pressing F1. If you press capital H, so shift and H, then you can see the different hotkeys. These hotkeys are very useful. The default F1 button always leads to the area where your wagon is. But I want to change this. Because um, I'm going to start my fortress right here. So what I'm going to do is I press F1 and then I press Z for zoom here. And now if I press F1 again it will always bring me back to this location. One thing I will definitely need are stockpiles. I will immediately create a food stockpile. This will make sure that my dwarves start bringing the items to my new location but it will also prevent the food from spoiling. This is quite important. I will also make a small refuse stockpile. This is optional but I like to have one. Uh, I'm going to make a different one later. And you also want the general stockpile for all your other items. But first I will let my dwarves bring the food. You can also remove upstairs or ramps by pressing D and then pressing Z. I will remove these ramps close to my entrance. So now I have done all my first designations. Oh, I will also designate some trees to be cut. However, since I don't have any access yet, this will actually not make a difference. So I will now press uh, unpause the game and my dwarves will start acting. So there they are, bringing all the items to my stockpile. On the upper right part of the screen you can see the number of idle dwarves. You can also see what your dwarves are doing in the, in the unit screen. You can enter the unit screen by pressing U. So I will just let this run for a little while. Since I don't have any access, I will have to make one. I will do this by building an ashery and by building a, a forge. To build, an a to build anything, including workshops and furnaces, you have to press B. That's the building menu. Then you go to furnace and let's make a wood furnace. This will allow us to make charcoal. Charcoal will be used as a fuel to make a, a weapon. Since I don't have any stone I will have to use a copper bar. But that's okay because I, 
I will be able to get my bar back once I uh, destroy the furnace. I will also need a forge, which is under the workshops. And then you can uh, have a metalsmith's forge. You need an iron anvil and a piece of stone, or in this case, I'll also use a copper bar. So those are the basics. What I will do now is I will just continue on. I will make myself some axes. I will dig deeper into the mountain, make some basic stockpiles. Uh, I already showed you how to make some stockpiles. And I will be back uh, once I am ready to make some farms. So I'll see you in the next video where I will explain how farming happens.